our sixth fight of the evening. Raymond Ferguson, this is Kansas City Fighting Alliance out of Kansas City, Missouri. Thanks for tuning in. We've had a great night of fights so far. I would expect nothing more from the rest of the card. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is presented by Hoy Excavating, one of Kansas City's most respected earth movers, building communities and providing construction services. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, Fernando Andrade. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, Devante Frencher. Devontae Frencher looks like he could win a bodybuilding fitness. He could win a bodybuilding fitness contest tomorrow if he wanted to. Absolutely. Just an observation. Great observation. Fight number six, Kansas City Fighting Alliance 27. Fernando Andrade versus Devontae Frencher. Good Frencher right looking hand. Big right hand from Fernando Andrade. Take Devante down by Frencher, Frencher, big double leg. Let's see Frencher work from top position here. Andrade looks to be either fishing for a Kimura or has a Kimura. I can't tell, but he doesn't have the angle to be successful with it. But having that grip can make things difficult, and he definitely has the grip. Devontae recognizes and finds his feet. Devontae Frencher steps in with wow. a devastating body lock. That's what James Krause teaches. It's a Daniel Cormier series. And really, when you can get deep into that body lock, you step on the inside and you give the guy a choice. You can go back or you can go left. And in that, basically, Andrade chose his fate on that, which they went flying left. Uh, it looks like Andrade's going to be very active from his back here, working some rubber guard. We'll have to see what his submission arsenal looks like as Frencher works from the top. Frencher looking to just... Oh, Andrade's looking to slap the ears here. He's looking for Frencher to make some awkward movements in here so he can look to pop a triangle or an arm bar. Frencher doing a good job of just staying tight in the guard and settling in in position. Frencher doing a good job of covering the face, looking to disrupt the breathing of Andrade. Andrade pops a triangle. triangle. Frencher's out, Oma Plata. Frencher steps over. Great job by Frencher, recognizing and reacting. Frencher escapes the submission well, and Andrade landed some nice hammer fists in that process. I'm very impressed with Andrade's activeness off of his back. Yeah, Andrade definitely has a good uh, submission game off of his back. The fighters work in the clinch here. Frencher doing a good job of pushing the pace on Andrade. I'm curious to see what this pace is going to do to either fighter or both fighters in the later minutes. Forty-five seconds left here in this first round between Andrade and Frencher as they work in the clinch. Andrade looks for the trip. Knee to the body by Andrade. You know, Frencher's doing a good job at getting to where he needs to be, but Andrade's just being really long and kind of awkward. Um, he's being really good with his takedown defense, and he's using the fence really well. Andrade's using his height really nicely to stay up. Ten seconds left here in this first round between Andrade and, and another big takedown. Great takedown for the end of the round here for Frencher. That, that first round is very interesting because Andrade came out, landed a huge left hand, landed a great front kick, and then was taken down immediately by Frencher, and, and Frencher was able to work from both the clinch and on top for the rest of the round.
So how do you score that first round, Turner? Um, you know, Frencher was moving forward, um, controlling the pace of the fight, but Andrade, as he was being taken down, was throwing up submissions, almost all his triangles. How do you score that? I, I think you have to give that round to Frencher uh, just because of the takedowns. But, man, I mean, uh, Andrade landed the only two strikes of the fight on the feet. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think the takedowns have to, have to win that round for Frencher. But uh, I'll be interested to see how the second round starts on the feet. Good outside leg kick from Andrade. Oh, and a big cross from Frencher. He closes the distance and scores the takedown. Good takedown. Frencher working from the top again. Fernando doing a good job at staying on a hip. He's got his left arm underneath Frencher's leg, which can be a good thing for him or a bad thing, depending on if he can load up deep and deep half guard. Nice punches from Frencher here. Look, landing hammer fists and right hands. Frencher looking to touch him up here to advance position on top. Fernando does a good job with that back leg. Wow, good scramble there. Great scramble. More scrambling. This is a great grappling contest here. Really, the moral of the story is Fernando's throwing up the offense and Frencher's countering him with the textbook counters. How would you score something like that? Do you credit the offense, the failing offense, or do you credit the defense taking care of the offense, I guess? You know? I, I always feel that top guy is winning, um, but you throw some legit submission attempts in there, some close finishes, and it can sway the round for the bottom guy as Frencher moves into mount here. Definitely. See if he can work with a minute 20 left in this second round. Frencher moves to full mount and gets rolled into half guard. Or excuse me, full guard. Yeah, full guard. Big punches from Fernando. Fernando. Frencher out the back door, wow. great scramble, and he's staying tight to avoid the triangle. Nice defense from Frencher as he comes up to a dangerous guard in Andrade. Scrambles for days in this fight with a minute left in this second round. You know, this is credit to Deon, Deontay, uh, Devontae Frencher. This is his very first fight, fighting the guy that's his sixth fight and showing Triangle. his game as they come. Nope, arm in. Got that arm in there. Fernando always attacking off his back. You see this happen a lot. A lot of guys can get, can get trapped on the bottom. And, and be content with playing the full guard. I'm happy to see Andrade throwing up submissions. If you're not gonna spend all the energy working to get back to your feet, you have to be active and try to be offensive and, and try to finish the fight from your back if you're gonna be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, submission attempts and you know some ear slaps and some strikes. You know, guys like Tony Ferguson, it's, it's hard and rare to do at a high level, but Tony Ferguson's one of the guys that's winning fights off of his back at a high level, yep. and it's at, you know at this day and age you can't just do it with submissions. It comes with a lot of strikes off your back, elbows. You're right. Hammer there, fist. there are very few guys. I was thinking about uh, extremely loud music from the from our sound guy Jody. My heart almost attacked right, that me. Was banana land. Uh, Brian Ortega, he fights really well off his back. Yep, definitely. I don't know why I just I wanted to throw that in there. Well, and I was kind of disagree with you, but really? Well, and I, I assume he's very good off his back. Of course, he's very yeah. good off his back. But I, I think if a guy like Frankie Edgar's in his full guard, he's not the, that guard's going to be negated. Um, so I guess depending on depending on who's on top. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll just see what we see. We'll see. <laughs> Jeez. There's all kinds of shenanigans going on here in the Kansas City Fighting Alliance 27. So our third round gets underway. Third and final round. Body kicks. Fernando doing a good job at staying active with his strikes, just none of them are really landing. Another Big great takedown take from Frencher. 
And Frencher moves into full mount quickly. And Frencher is back on top in a dominant position. Frencher, if you notice, he's got a figure four around Fernando's legs there. That's not by accident. He could move up to full mount if he wanted to, but he's purposely staying on the legs with a figure four to negate Fernando's um, movement on Offense, bottom. Yeah. yeah, and you know, Fernando's legs are long and they are dangerous, so Frencher's doing a good job at negating that. Again, this kid's had zero fights and he's out there figure fouring legs on top. It's beautiful, it's, it's great. Just under two minutes left in this fight as Devontae Frencher works from top position. Frencher's hips are down and they are heavy. He's locked down on him. For people who've never been in a position like this, you're, at this point, Fernando feels pretty helpless as far as his hips are concerned. We will see that eventually pop off, so we'll see where they land when this figure four pops off. I'm curious to see if Fernando will get full guard or if Frencher moves up to mount and he moves up to mount as I'm speak speaking. Right on cue as Frencher moves into mount. So if notice, Frencher has two double underhooks here. Now he can't strike from here, he can't land devastating damage, but he's doing all the control on his upper body with two underhooks, and then his grapevines on his legs are controlling the bottom. So literally, Frencher is controlling two different men, if you will, the upper body and then the lower body. It's, it's really calm and it's poised. The, the, the drinkers at Buffalo Wild Wings aren't gonna appreciate something like this or um, the Mark MMA fans, but but real you know grapp grappling yep. enthusiasts will see this. And really the drinkers at KCFA certainly are appreciating it as we see some shots. As we appreciate them. Absolutely. Big punches from Devontae Frencher. He's landing some big leather here. And he's picking his shots well. Big punch to the body. 40 seconds left as Frencher works from the top. 35 seconds left. This does not look like a guy who's in his first mixed martial arts bout. Definitely, because he's picking his shots. If you notice, he's not beating a drum. He's picking these shots, hitting the ears. And notice this. While he's punching, he still has his legs underneath Fernando's hips. Big punches to the body. Those are digging deep. Ten seconds left in this third round. Good switch of positions here. Could be too little too late for... Great fight great from fight. both fighters. Yeah. Great, great, great fight. Fernando Andrade and Devontae Frencher did not disappoint. I'm, I am going to say this. It's early in the card, but I'm going to say it. This is so far the best Kansas City Fighting Alliance event that I have watched. This is great. You know, I was thinking that earlier, but I wasn't going to say that because I thought maybe I was just in a wild fight mood and I needed to calm down. All, every fight's been competitive. We've seen finishes. We've seen decisions. We've seen high-level grappling. We've seen high-level striking. A great card match by Joe Wooster, top to bottom. And this fight was no different. Yeah, um, you know, on paper, a guy that's had six fights and has been fighting for more than, you know, I I looked up a little bit of Fernando Andrade and saw that he had uh, had some fights for Titan Fighting Championships four years ago. So think about that. Devontae Frencher, who's 18 years old, was 14 years old when, um, you know, Fernando was fighting. Um, you know, point of the story is, is you know, Devontae just picked up MMA not that long ago, and for him to be able to be competitive out there against, really a, against a very good very good very opponent. good Fernando Andrade. Fernando Andrade was dangerous off his back. He threw really nice kicks, really nice punches, and um, you know, it was a great even contest, which on paper six fights to zero wouldn't have said that, but yeah. great matchmaking. Go inside the cage to see who won this one. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Henry Geary scores the bout, 29 to 28. Judge Fernando Marquez scores the bout, 30 to 27. And Judge Marcus Danforth scores about 30 to 27. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision out of the red corner, Devontae 
Frencher. Devontae Frencher beats a six-fight veteran in mixed martial arts in his debut. A big night for the Frencher brothers, Deontay and Devontae.